My name is Tom Cooper. I'm in Hawaii. Recently, David Karshir and others have been pointing to the importance of divine presence. Today, we'll be focusing upon the power of that presence, which is love, which changes everything. I'd like to begin with a story about when I was a college student. We had a brand new professor who was an expert on silent films of the 1920s. And he wanted to demonstrate to the public what those ancient silent film projections were really like with live piano accompaniment. And because I was his assistant, he asked me to play the piano improv accompanying these silent movies. I didn't know very well. This was no easy job because I had to study the movie enough to anticipate each scene. And I had to provide the right mood for each image without any experience of playing and for 90 minutes without a break in the dark, no less. Fortunately, we had some senior citizens in our musicians union who knew from way back how to do this. And I could learn from someone how to do something called Mickey Mousing, which was a trick of the early trade. When the very first Mickey Mouse cartoons came out, whoever wrote the musical score had to figure out how to echo Mickey's every action in the soundtrack. So if Mickey or Pluto or Donald Duck fell down three flights of stairs almost to the bottom and then slowly bounced on the last three steps while tottering, it sounded like this on the piano. Remember that? And so I learned how to match the notes with the action. And I made it through, but I kept feeling there was something about this experience which wasn't right for my soul. And later I realized there were three problems. First, I was only mimicking externals. And that's what the failed story of man is all about. Next, I was turning my identity over to someone else named Mickey. And I began to think, am I a man or am I a mouse? And thirdly, and this is important for today, I was being taught to perform from the outside in. And I knew I wanted to express music within me from the inside out, as David put about his own composing from a higher place. And fortunately, I met some people, some of whom are in this very community, who taught me if what is on my life screen is tragic, I don't have to play tragic music. And if what's on my life screen is sad or lonely or embittered, I don't have to play that kind of music. I can offer love. And if what if I see on my literal screen or on my life screen violence, I don't have to violently play. I can offer love and understanding. That was a huge breakthrough. But where does that eternal flow of love come from? I didn't know that until I met these people. I can't manufacture love in a vacuum. It's the power of divine presence which is required to bring love and then to sustain it no matter what's on my screen. So I need to receive and identify with not my environment, not a mouse, but the power of divine presence, the unbroken powerful attunement current we teach and know, God's eternal spirit, the fire which burns, the light which glows, and as Lana said, the glory, the cloud of glory. I was so grateful for how David put this in a publication we call The Pulse of Spirit. Let me read. Love is the power born from presence. So when we invoke presence, we're invoking power. We're invoking love. And later, David wrote in the same passage, we're called upon to bring the power of love as who we are and to allow the flow of wisdom to activate our human mind so that we can become intelligent. I agree. And so I thought, just how intelligent is it for me to mimic every image and emotion on my life screen? when I have so much music and meaning to give from the inside out 
as Michael Gaeta just beautifully demonstrated, from the inside out, so much to create, so much presence to bring, unleashing love, the highest love of spirit, the power of love. And we all can bring that, whether we play an instrument or play our own instrument of our human capacities. Love changes everything. And without it, I'm just playing in the dark. Great to bring the presence together this morning and to let that power of love be felt.